Hello there, welcome again to our series of topics. So in today's topic, uh, we'll summarize the practical use of uh, the lessons we have covered under part seven, which is review. We have seen under review topics like editor, spelling and grammar, thesaurus, word count, read loud, language, comment, track change, accept, compare, protect, and linking notes. So uh, in today's topic, we'll see tips for practical use and the problem solving in relation to those topics. So the first one is to check for spelling and grammar. To check for spelling and grammar, we, we look, uh, we use editor. Whenever we want to check for spelling and grammar, you can, can use editor. To use preferred word in a writing or even for learning synonyms, to learn synonyms or to uh, use preferred word, we can use thesaurus. The other word count, which is often suggest to a certain number in research papers, online application and assignment, then the use of word count is mandatory to just govern it by uh, the rules or instructions in this, in such cases. So word count can be actually very important in such cases, specific, spe specifically when we, we are actually um, uh, guided by the limited number of words. The other is to translate content and document in a document in a different language with a Microsoft Translate and online service. In that case, when we want to translate a uh, certain document with different language, we can use language function, spe specifically for people working in the translation service are actually uh, can use that uh, productivity to make their effort and increase their productivity. To collaborate with others and edit or upgrade document, we can actually use comments through comment. Different people can actually collaborate and can produce uh, nice document where everybody has actually uh, contributed for that document. The other is compare two documents to see the difference between them. So uh, if you want to want to compare two different uh, documents, we can use compare. The other is restrict editing. Limit how much other can edit and format the document. Uh, in that case, we can actually protect the, our document uh, so that uh, we can actually restrict editing and even formatting. So those are uh, the topics we have discussed under part seven of the book, which is review. Remember, all these are very useful and increase your productivity if you have actually used it wisely. So what we recommend is try to use them Obviously, you will, that will actually increase your productivity. So if you actually want to uh, know more about those topics I've uh, discussed here, like editor, thesaurus, uh, word count, language, function, comment, compare, and protect, there are, uh, there are videos, earlier made videos specific on uh, each topic. You can go there and grab some of the detail on those topics. So that is it and thank you very much and bye bye.